Howdy guys, welcome back. We're back out here in the woods as per usual. We're gonna try to get some videos, some trees falling down and stuff today, just normal logging crap, you know. But uh, trees like this, standing out here in the middle of the open, we can flush cut them off and get them down pretty quick. Kind of like, feel like Brutus the Barber Beefcake. You can do some cutting and some strutting, you know, get some stuff done. But this is a big old tree. We're gonna get her lopped down before the skitter gets back. I think it's probably gonna be hollow. It's got a flare in the bottom half of the tree and then kind of narrows up, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> didn't take long to get it down after I stuck it in there I could feel it was hollow so I decided to bore cut it out just so I wouldn't get pinched in it but we'll get her pulled down and topped out and all right guys so this is a perfect example of why like a selective harvest is necessary even on trees that aren't real big around this tree would have never made it to a giant size because well as you can see she's already really hollow and goes in a long ways all the way up to here I'll have to cut her off but you know it's, it's a tree is like any kind of crop you gotta take it whenever it's ready and this tree was already past its prime because well it's hollow and never gonna get any better than what it is right now uh, so you might as well get your money while you can we do mainly selective harvesting and only taking certain trees from an area but uh that way we can keep on continuing coming back to the same areas and cutting year not year after year but every 10 12 years if you're in a good spot you can come back and harvest more trees but uh this is just one example if i come across something else i might show you something else that happens to a lot of these trees all right guys we have another tree here that's kind of an example of uh, where something has fell down and hit the side of it. And you can see she's starting to die here. Another perfect example of a, a tree that was at its prime. You know, it could have stood here another 15, 20 years, but it's basically just dying and going back the other way. But I don't know, like I was saying, I think that's the most important thing is if you have a timber is to do a selective harvest on your valuable trees and around here in the midwest walnut is king it's the most valuable so you know whenever we cut it down if it tears down a hackberry or something like that it's not that big of a deal they're a low value tree that's not very sought after and well they're extra plentiful they're, they grow everywhere if you did think they were valuable or wanted to make something with them. But it's just a little short video. I just wanted to show you the reasons why you should do a selective harvest on your trees and get those ones that are at least mature or the ones that are dying and going, never gonna be any better than what they are. You might as well get your money now because in 10 years, whenever it goes hollow, you lose a bunch of your value. But if you haven't done so already, like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys.